But unfortunately, it comes with the chance parts of the area could see some showers and thunderstorms. Here's the latest on radar and satellite. Our next inbound cold front, that blue line you're seeing in central Nebraska, that is heading in our direction, already generating a pretty decent complex of showers and, thund and thunderstorms. But no severe watches and warnings are issued at this current hour. But you just see it is right on our doorsteps, even closer to Grand Island. Already starting to see a little bit more rainfall beginning to develop down to the south. Now, I do believe what we're seeing on radar could arrive here, but the severe weather threat is going to be a very short lived for some of our communities to the north and west of us. Isolated, very low wind threat that some of these storms could generate maybe a damaging wind gust and maybe some quarter sized hail. One or two of these storms could produce that, but again, very low wind threat. The winds are very light. And we've been under the clouds for most of the afternoon. So again, that doesn't really bode well so as for our severe weather threat throughout the early evening hours. But nevertheless, this is what we have on Storm Predictor, taking it hour by hour. This is 7 o'clock. Storms arriving again up closer to Columbus. Norfolk could see and maybe uh, some showers and thunderstorms. The stronger weather continues to remain up to the north and west of us near Tacoma. This cold front arriving just before midnight could generate maybe a passing shower or two as we get closer to our pre-dawn hours for early Wednesday morning. But we're all clear waking up for early Wednesday morning just in time for your rush hour commute. Just a live look of five o'clock traffic. This is 72nd 370 82 degrees currently looking at a little peaks of sunshine. Calm winds again. The winds have been fairly light through most of the daylight hours. Red Oak coming in at 79 degrees, lower 80s in Denison currently throughout the overnight. Some clouds, some clouds, some uh, low level cloud coverage could develop in parts of the area. So temperatures cooling into the upper 60s and lower 60s near Columbus, Norfolk, Tacoma. Morning low temperature 63 degrees, waking up into the upper 60s here in Omaha. So don't be surprised if you see a little bit more cloud and some fog development as we get closer to your daybreak hours. Sunrise happening exactly at 614 for tomorrow morning. 7 o'clock, we're looking at upper 60s, 70 degrees by the time we get closer to your uh, mid-morning hours. By the afternoon, I'm tracking a high temperature of 87 degrees. 89 in Lincoln, looking at the upper 80s. Beatrice Falls City, 86 degrees for afternoon high. Still tracking a, another about a 20% chance of some evening showers for Wednesday evening throughout the overnight. We're going to be tracking a stalled out front, but most of the rain and thunderstorm activity should remain down to the south and west of the Omaha Metro. So here's what we got for the next seven days. Enjoy the unseasonably cool temperatures. High temperature of 87 degrees, lower 80s for your Thursday. Waking up into the upper 50s for Friday morning. 82 degrees to close out your work week, but 90s return by late weekend. Looking at triple digit oh heat for Tuesday, <laughs> the first afternoon of August. So yeah, summer's Spoiler not Spoiler alert.